Hey guys, it's time. It's time for Eats with Ella. That's right. Welcome to class. Who's with me? Check in with me. Let's do this. Who's out there? We got anybody watching us yet, Jen? Not yet, but they'll show up. They're showing up. All right. Here we go. We got some latecomers to class. Hey, let's do the uh, let's do the theme song got again, some Jen. Watching. Yeah, because they're just checking in now. Let's do the theme song. We'll wait until they get in here. Barry's here. Of time Carrie's coming in. Hi, Carrie. I miss you guys so much. Shannon, what's up, Nine Toes? Lisa Ketafias. Brown noser. Hi. What up, cuz? What's going on, Semler? All right, guys. Now we got some class going on. All right, here we go. So today is the day that we make not your grandma's bread pudding, mm-hmm, and not your grandma's bread pudding, and it wasn't my grandma's bread pudding, because nobody back in the day was using bourbon, mm. But nobody back in the day was using ben donuts. I'm not using bananas, I'm using donuts for this <laughs> bread pudding. So, let's get started. Hey, what up, Bart Beavers? How's it going, my man? You still retired <laughs> from the police? Hey, guys, so here's what I got going on. We're gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna turn this down because I wanted to get it started before you guys got here and you checked in. So here's what we're gonna do. Everybody stand up. It is time for that top part of the day where we sing happy birthday and we get the hands cleaned up. Now, Johnny, what are we singing? Happy birthday. All right, let's give a little more enthusiasm, Johnny. What are we singing? Happy birthday. That's right, happy birthday. And we're saying happy birthday today to my man, Tony Sofo. That's right, my smoking buddy, Tony Sofo. We love to smoke some meats together. And then I'm gonna say happy birthday to Dave Whitfield. Dave is turned into a crack crispy monster. This dude lives alone and has ate three trays of these since we first broadcast that first class. Was that the first class, Jen? Yes, that was our first yes. class. So let's hear it for the birthday. Show them the hearts, give them the thumbs up, and let's sing happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to everybody. Happy birthday to you, especially Tony and Dave. All right, so our paws are clean, kids. What, could, what is Lily in class today? Oh, there goes that ring again, Jen. Oh. You know what they say when the wedding ring falls off, you gotta keep putting it back on. All right, <laughs> here we go. Let me grab some paper towels. And we're gonna go back to my, what's in the pot, Ella? Well, what's in the pot is this. I have one stick of butter, which is eight tablespoons, melted down, and we put a little cream in there. Because why, kids? Because we don't put cold with hot right away, right? Mm, no, bad. So we bring them together at the same time. So I got it simmering for us. So this is not your grandma's bread pudding, and it's the beginning of it. So we're gonna put a little more cream in here. We're gonna bring this up to temperature. So what I'm essentially doing is I'm making a base, and we're gonna put some eggs in there in a minute. I'm gonna make a base that we're gonna put and hold all this bread pudding together with, okay? So we're just gonna heat this stuff up. I'm gonna crack these eggs in. Let me get my gloves on. Right over here, Johnny. We put some gloves on, peoples. So here's the story of the bread pudding. Backstage, everything happens backstage. I told you, it's a city in a city. Well, backstage, since we do the backstage stuff, part of our gig is we supply the donuts. That's right. Not just a dozen donuts, not two dozen donuts. We supply many, many, 12 dozen donuts. Sometimes I've supplied 30 dozen donuts, for God's sakes. So when you have all these donuts laying around and then you think, well, the stagehands will eat eight dozen and the stagehands only eat, say, five dozen. Depends on what city you're in, really. So if they only eat five dozen donuts, I take the other three dozen donuts and I turn it into this great dessert that blows people's minds and it's gonna blow your mind. This is a great dessert. So while this is cooking down, we're gonna crack the eggs up in here in this bowl, just like this. So I would take the extra, I would take the extra donuts and I would turn them into this. I would take all the extra pastries, anything that was extra. So we weren't throwing anything away and everything was being used Anything that did not go out to the stagehands or out on the line for breakfast would be turned into this. Now, this is a great story because people don't understand that there's donuts in Not Your Grandma's Bread Pudding. So my man Rob, we're at the Fox Theater one day, 
And Rob Stone, who was on my crew, still one of my peoples, uh, was working in the dining room and we were doing B.B. King. I believe it was B.B. King. And, you know, everybody know the Fox Theater? Give me a thumbs up for the Fox Theater. It's the jewel of downtown Detroit, really. I mean, everybody knows the Fox Theater. If you haven't been to the Fox Theater, you should, after this quarantine is over, book a show there, book, get some tickets, and the go to the Fox Theater. The most beautiful theater. theater in Detroit. The most beautiful place there is. It, yeah, one, one of them the in Detroit. One of the most beautiful theaters I've been into in the whole state. Yeah, the, that theater is amazing. So, what happens is... Uh, we're going to throw these little eggs in here while it's still cooling and still chilling, okay? We're not want to cook the eggs. Now we turn this guy off, okay? Now. Yeah, why don't you want to cook the eggs? Because nobody likes scrambled eggs, Ella, and not your grandma's bread pudding. It's not about that. So we got that done now. So what happened in the dining room while Rob was watching the dining room was this. Who we got? Hi, Marcus. What's up, cuz? I got a great, great text from your grandpa this morning. I love my, I love my Janitowski family. Hi, Barry. What's going on in Canada, sister? You hanging tight over there? I know you can't come over the border yet, but we'll take you back, sister. We'll take you back. What's going on, Marianne? Mm, I don't know what she's up to. Uh, Cheryl, my big sister, Cheryl. Hello, Debbie. What's going on, Debbie Augustine? And Craig, dude, are you going to make this one and the dogs will not leave the kitchen? Shiloh is waiting at my feet for donuts. Okay, so we're going to take this guy. And this is what happened. We're doing... The show, this guy in the dining room comes up to my man after he has dinner and he goes and gets dessert. And this is B.B. King's guy. And he says, hey, I don't want to say anything, but down on the down low, there's something wrong with this. And he had a plate of our Not Your Grandma's Bread pudding in his hand and he was pointing it to it. And Rob's like, what do you mean? What's wrong with it? And he said, well, there's some green stuff in here. And he's like, you know, all your meals all day have been fabulous and I don't want to complain. He's like, but there's green stuff in here. And Rob started laughing at the guy and the guy was like, what's so funny? And he's like, that green stuff is the green sprinkles from the donuts. And he's like, donuts? There's donuts in here? And Rob's like, yeah, that's how Ella makes it. And he's like, I'm going to get some more of this. No problem then. It was the green sprinkles from the donuts. So here's how that happens. This is what happens. Kids, this is the best part of Not Your Grandma's Bread Pudding. This is where you get creative. This is where you make it rain donut sprinkles. So you just crumble it up. You just want big hunks. Now, you don't want to pulverize it. You just want big hunks. Why do you want big hunks? Because everybody likes to bite into, and you got to have texture. you got to think about texture, kids. So we do this. We just break them up, smash them a little. You don't want to go crazy and destroy anything. We just want to make it look nice. Hello, Sue. What's going on, Sue Powers Swartz? What's going on, sister down there in Florida? Hi, Kay. Margo. I got a lot of people looking in at me from Florida today. Yes. What's going on, Michelle from Maumee, Ohio? Saw the whole family on the recap of the news trifecta. And then there's Mrs. Waite. I love Mrs. Waite. She's my biggest fan. Okay, so you see what I got going on there, kids? Look at that. Wait a minute. Not done. Because look it. I found a pastry in the pantry. So we're going to break this guy up just like this. Even the filling. See the red? There's red in there, Ella. That's right, because it's red goodness. Today, it's red goodness. Okay, so we do this. Press, press it down a little, just like that. Now, we got that going. We're going to heat up the oven. And the oven goes to 350 for this. Let me take these gloves off that I smashed the donuts with. We're going to take this up to 350 and then heat that up. I'm going to show you how we finish this guy off. So we take our little mixture of goodness. Oh, and here, let's, let's throw a little cinnamon in that. So we're going to throw some cinnamon in there. We're going to mix it up. And then if I can find a spoon, my kingdom for a spoon, we are going to do this next. Here we go. So we spoon this over. This loveliness comes right over the top. Now, when you can do this for Easter, I'm telling you right now, you can do this for Easter, or if you're not celebrating Easter, or you're waiting to celebrate Easter till we're all out of this together, uh, you're gonna blow some people's minds with this because this is some major goodness going on. So again, if I was making this on set for American Idol, you're talking, hold on, I'll be right back. Jim, where's it at? Where's the big thing? The big thing, bigger than my head thing. The roasting pan. 
We're using it as the stand for your Oh. Phone. Mm. It's not my new stand for my camera. Okay. Well, the big thing is this. These. Two of these guys. This is good. Two of these guys. Two times. Two times. That's what we make backstage. Okay? So now you know what that looks like. Now, I'm going to drop this guy in here. And we're going to sprinkle a little of this guy on top. This is cinnamon sugar. You just go a little crazy with that guy, okay? Make it rain, kids. Make it rain. Now. Debbie Augustine said she would add raisins. Oh, you can add raisins, Debbie. That's a great idea. You can add anything you want. It's not your grandma's bread pudding. Do whatever you want with it. So you could add raisins. You could add craisins. You could add walnuts. You could get crazy. I don't know. Add cashews. What do we got? Hi, Andy Simon from Detroit. What's up, dude? How you doing, my man? Hi, Diana. She's in Sarasota. All these people from Florida are amazing. Diana Mason, Dooley, Lisa Pastoric. Dude, thanks for the uh, mask that you're sending the family. Thank you so much. And we all appreciate that they are Ohio State colors. Go Bucks. I don't. And then Mamacita. Hi, Mamacita. Thanks for looking in on us. Thanks for taking care of us. All right, here we go. So this guy now goes in the oven and we zot him right in there. You want to cook him for about 25 to 35 minutes, okay? Now, it's that easy. Here's the good part of the class. Remember, we're not sponsored. And the only thing I want to say about this is, the only thing good to do with this is to cook with this, okay? Now, if you're in need, I have a few of these stashed because I cook with a lot of this, okay? You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm gonna put that right there. We're gonna take this guy and we're gonna do this. So, this is how we make the glaze for not your grandma's bread pudding. Now, my grandma would be using, <laughs> my grandma Dudek, if she was making this recipe right now, God love her and she was walking the face of the earth and I wish she was because she would get a kick out of this shit going down. Um, she would use black velvet because that's what all good Polish people use. Black velvet for everything. So it's good on a burn. It's great on a cut. If you stab your friend, you can clean it up with that. It's awesome. So it probably could even clean windows. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a little of this, not black velvet, and we're going to pour it right in here. And what I have in here is just simply a little powdered sugar. And everybody needs a little powdered sugar with some bourbon in it in their life, especially of what's going on today. So we're gonna stir this in just like this. You're looking about two shots. Now, if you wanna get crazy, do it for one shot and you take the other shot to the head. You can do that. I am not a big drinker. And if I was gonna drink, it would probably be a cab full of vodka. Hmm. And I do have vodka in this house. So this is the glaze that I'm mixing right now. And what will happen is we're just gonna put this once this comes out of the oven, you just literally just paint the brush. Paint the brush with it. Which means to me is you just take a spoon and you just right over the top of it and it's goodness all over. And then if you want to save this for later, I'm sure it would be good on toast in the morning. <laughs> Hi, Mark Stewart. What's going on? Mark's in Detroit. We got people all over the place calling us or checking in on us today. Angie. Yep. My friend Angie from the fairgrounds. We go way back. Much love for Angie and Julie. Hi, Julie from Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Hampton. Julie Hampton's in Phoenix, peoples. And then we got Lanny. Lanny Lou Who. Mm, you know who you are. Uh huh. All right. So here's what we got. I'm going to add a little more to this to stiffen it up. Now, when I say stiffen up, I mean where it's not so drizzly like that. Okay? When I say stiff, a little consistency, like, you know, like a syrup stiff. You know what I mean? The, let's say the viscosity of syrup would work for this. You could say thicken it up. Thicken it up. So we're going to thicken it up. Well, in cooking, we call it stiffen it up because you got to tighten up. You got to tighten it up and stiffen it up and gravies and such. You know, I, you know what I mean? All right, peoples. Who's up with me? Show me the love. Give me the hearts. Show me that you're watching and that you guys are understanding and you've caught up with this recipe. Because not your grandma's bread pudding is smelling pretty good in here and so is this bourbon that my nose is under. Okay, so here's the deal. Let's put this aside and uh, where are we at, Johnny? Where are we at? What time are we at? Ooh, we're cooking today. We're cooking hard. Okay, so see how easy that was, you guys? That is a great, great fast recipe. Now listen, when you're cooking for 200 people, 
or you're cooking for 100 people and you got to have that meal up at 5 o'clock and you need a fast dessert, this is the dessert that you slam together, you throw in that oven and you forget about until you smell it. You know what I'm saying? And then you pull it. And once you pull it, then you put this beautifulness on top of it. Okay, we'll put that aside. Oh, and then you can put a little cinnamon in that too if you'd like. Or vanilla is really good. All right, I love the hearts. So, Johnny, let's talk about... What should we talk about now, Johnny? Uh, I don't Anything? Know. We've, we've told the story about the uh, banana pudding. We've done that. Oh, and let me tell you something about but donuts. I said banana pudding. Mm, that's a whole nother show. Hi, Stacy Heilman. John Jacobs. Dude, you know what I'm talking about when it comes to liquor. This dude is the mixologist of Toledo, Ohio. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. I think I got kicked out of our group that we're in together. Maybe. Renee. How's it going, Renee? And Nikki. How's it going, Nikki Farley? Thanks for joining us. So here's the story. Donuts. When you buy donuts, like massive quantities of donuts every day and you're working shows every day, the donut people get to know you and appreciate you. And I was more appreciated than, say, TPD or D DPD. You know what I'm saying? I was appreciated. So the people over there at, um, and all my Detroit people will know this, you know the one, the one on Woodward, the one of the goodness, Dutch Girl. Who loves Dutch Girl Donuts in Detroit, Michigan? Give me the hearts because those people are legit. I could call those people at 4 a.m. and they would run my order out as I turned around on Woodward doing an illegal U-turn. They were that good. So they hooked me up. And then I can't forget my local Dunkin' Donuts peoples because they love me too. And when we weren't working, Shiloh got all the free munchkins that she could have. So we love those guys. So that's how many donuts we would. When you're buying donuts for these peoples, you're buying a lot of donuts for stage hands and roadies. So I want to talk about uh, angels making a difference. And the angels today making a difference are... There's some angels in Maumee, Ohio. I believe that's where your Ford plant is. Tell me if that's where the Ford plant is, people. The Ford plant in Maumee, Ohio, and my friend Billo are making face shields. They made 300,000 face shields yesterday. 300,000 face shields. Their goal for the week is 2 million. 2 million face shields by the end of the week. Let's hear it. Let's hear it for the angels in Maumee, Ohio that are making all those face shields at the Ford plant because last I knew Ford made cards, not face plant or shields. You know what I'm saying? So let's hear it for Billo and the crew over there making, making their uh, face shields for everybody to be protected. And oh, they will get shipped all over this country. They will go everywhere to people that need them everywhere. So give up the hearts for these people because they're giving up their time and their hearts for us. They still got jobs. And thank you for keeping the economy moving somewhat. You know what I'm saying? All right, Billo. Way to go, sister. Softball buddy. Way back. All right. And then I want to talk about Michael. Michael Reinbold again. This young man, still from Toledo, Ohio, stayed up all the other night. Stayed up all last night, or the two nights ago. Was it two nights ago, Jen? Two nights ago. Two nights ago. Stayed up two nights ago not to play video games, people. This 18-year-old is not playing video games with his time. He is printing. He is using his 3D, 3D printer. He's using a 3D printer and printing the straps that hold the masks on for the doctors and the nurses. How about that? Can somebody please set Michael Reinbold up a GoFundMe page so this young man can afford to make these straps for our first responders. Can somebody please do that for me, please? I don't know how to. I, I, I'm lucky enough that I figured out Facebook Live and I haven't even figured that out yet. Got me in trouble the other day. You know what I'm saying? So, and then the other person I want to point out to you today, I make, it, I make fun of her. I make fun of her about being a brown noser and she's not. She's one of my good friends and that's Lisa Pastor. Lisa, I know you're over there sewing these things and you haven't left that room. And you're still sewing and Ed thinks you're crazy, but you're still sewing, sister. And you're helping people and you're helping people get these masks that need them. And I want to say thank you. And I want to say thank you from our family for sending us Ohio State masks. Thank you, Elisa. You're making a difference, sister. Thank you. Uh, hello, Elizabeth Emmert. Thank you. I'm glad that you're watching. Uh, and thank you for the uh, I am. Rob, how's it going, Rob? Fair job. Dude. You people are all over the media. I don't know what's happening over there in Toledo. And then Joe Janitowski, my cousin Joey. What up, dude? And hi, Michelle. Double boiler Michelle's up in the house. 
This is Michelle that sent me the double boiler people. And then Carrie. Hi, Carrie. How's it going, sister? All right. So uh, I think that that covers our angels for the day. We've talked about the angels, Johnny. Oh, here's an activity for the kids. These are this is an activity for the little nippers I want to talk about real quick, and that I is want this. To interrupt though, because yeah. Michelle, Michelle Fairchild said that all mommy schools 3D printers are now making face shields. Give it up for mommy! All mommy schools 3D printers are now making face shields. Did you guys hear what John just said? Thank you, Michelle, for letting us know that. Everybody, give me the hearts. Give me the heart. Mommy is cranking it, cranking it out. So this is an activity. Here comes the hearts, Michelle. Look at these hearts. So here's an activity I want you guys to do for Easter with the kids. And I used to love to make salt dough. Salt dough. You know, the stuff you don't really want to eat, but you're kind of like, hmm, has a different consistency to it. Don't eat it, kids. We need flour, salt, and water. And all we need to do is put this together and we're going to make uh, cutouts, little eggs, Easter bunnies, faces. Then you're going to bake them and then you're going to color them and decorate them. How about that? Then you can put a little hole in them and hang them. You can make hearts. You can hang hearts in the windows for the first responders. You can do whatever you want. But it's a little activity, kids, that will make the day go a lot faster. And Debbie right. Huffman Philby's checking in and she said Whitmer is doing the same thing with 3D printers, making the face shields. Look at my alma mater. Give it up for the Panthers, people. Once a Panther, always a Panther. Shit, we're like a cult sometimes. You know what I'm saying? We'll come at you. Come on, give it up for the Panthers. I gotta say, I grew up at Whitmer and loved Whitmer my whole life and was at the vocational center and took commercial arts there. I would love to see how a 3D printer works because I think it's awesome. All right, so that's the activity for the kids. I'll post that on my Facebook on this page. It's really easy. The kids will love to do it, and you guys can show me your finished project with them. And I just thought that was something cool because I'm an artsy, craftsy person, and I like stuff like that. So, um, and then I just want to close with saying, where are we at, Jed? We're on time? Yes. Oh, we're on time today, people. I'm hitting my notes. All right, so I just want to say, that as the days go longer, and they're getting longer, believe me. I don't know. What time was I up, Jen, this morning? Five something? You were up about 4.30. 4.30 today. I was up at 4.30 today. Got my workout really and really early today. And um, I just want to say that for the people that can't sleep, I see it on both sides of the country here. There are a lot of people that are up. There are a lot of people that can't sleep because there's a lot of things going on in our minds when you're stressed out. So in these days, when they're getting longer... We all got to hold on. Like I keep saying, just hold on. It will eventually, it'll be okay. We're going to hold on. And the other thing I keep saying is you got to reach out to people. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're home alone. And that means reach out. People are here. Talk to people. Keep your mental state of being where it needs to be. S talk. Just talk. Do a video conference with somebody. I've had a lot of video conferences lately with people just ringing me up and they're like, hey, what's going on? Reach out to people and tell them that you love them. Tell them, take the time. How about writing a letter? I don't know, you still gotta mail it, but you know, do something old school. Old school is good school, you know what I'm saying? We're doing home economics like it's old schools. All right, peeps. So all I would like you to do is reach out and have fellowship. And the kids in the class are like, what does fellowship mean? Fellowship means a gathering a group of individuals who have the same goal. Fellowship. We all need fellowship. Our goal together is to get through this. Keep our saneness, keep a smile on our face, and our families happy and fed. However that has to be, we have to do that. So we all got to hold on. And we all need to have fellowship. So reach out to each other and have fellowship. That's all. That's all we got to do. Have fellowship. Fellowship. And remember, stay home. If they don't live with you, you don't belong with them. I know Easter is going to be different this year. It'll be different for us. And I've been telling you that we're going to do something special. And uh, I think it's going to happen. So Easter morning... We're going to team up and have fellowship, but it's not going to be really a team. It's going to be kind of like a handoff of teams. We are going to go feed a small hospital up in Burbank, and we're going to take you guys with us on a field trip, and we'll stream live from the inside of the truck 
of making the food and serving the people on the outside. So we're gonna serve, uh, at a shift, we're gonna serve breakfast. We're gonna sh serve the shift that's coming on and we're gonna sh serve the shift that's going off. They'll have a take and go, so there'll be no contact. There'll be, we'll still be in quarantine because nobody's getting on alley but us three. And there'll be a, just a table outside, we'll set out 10 meals and we got it all worked out. So you guys are gonna get to see that and, um, oh, Jen, we got more people looking at us. We have a lot of people watching. Hi, Anna. How's it going, sister? Kelly. Kelly's one of my biggest fans. Where's Aubrey? Where's she at? Wendy. Wendy Davis. Soroka. The Sorokas. I used to work with those Sorokas. Billy Soroka. Hi, Tracy Ty. Love you, sister. What'd you do with the 40 bucks that you found? Did you buy groceries and, like, and now you're cooking in class? And then Joe. My man Joe up in L.A. making the commercials. All right. So, Trish Sherwood is watching and she said Raylene says hi also. Hi Trish, what's going on? Who says hi? Raylene. Hi Raylene, what's going on little one? I saw the photos of the mac and cheese and they look delicious. Okay, so remember, stay home, stay healthy, and stay safe. And keep the faith. Because the three things they still can't take are closed down. Faith, hope, and love people. Give it up for those three. Faith, hope, and love. We got it going on. And I want to say, uh, before we talk about the class uh, cleanup songs for the day, I don't know if anybody has seen the article on The Blade, but there's an article today about spreading love through food and some chick named Ella. So if you could spread some love with me through food, keep sending that on. Send it, send it, send it. Keep sending it because the more people I can reach, the better my heart feels and the days get shorter for Ella. You know what I'm saying? So maybe I won't be up at 4.30 in the morning anymore. <clears throat> maybe not. Probably I will be up at 4.30. Let's not kid each other. All right. So kids, the cleanup songs of the day. In honor of Mr. B.B. King, because I love that man and he loved my food. And he loved Shiloh. And Shiloh loved his bus. Um, we're going to play Lucille. Now kids, the young kids, the young kids that don't know what fellowship is that you just learned the definition. Lucille. This man, B.B. King, if it wasn't for him... Mm -mm. There would be no blues, no blues. Um, and which leads me to talk about John Prine. John Prine died yesterday. This man is a country hero god. This guy influenced all the country artists, all of them. You can look it up. He was that good. Parents, introduce your kids to these musicians. These are people that my son doesn't even know, and it's appalling to me that I could have a son that's 18 and doesn't understand that there's a lot of good music before what they listen to now. You know what I'm saying? So the uh, next song that we're going to dance to in the kitchen is David Bowie. You guessed it. Let's dance. Missy Archibald, put on your red shoes, sister. It's time to dance. And then lastly, remember, you're not alone in this. We're all together. So let's have fellowship. And let's play Michael Jackson, You Are Not Alone. That goes to my friend Diana, who's always watching. All right, now this is the time where I gotta thank my cameraman, Johnny Pulsa. He made the Blade article mm, as the cameraman. And I gotta thank my wife for being my wife because she's going along with this craziness and, and putting the, pro the, you know, the production together with me. And she cleans the kitchen. Shh. Anyways, I want to thank everybody for watching. You guys are outstanding. The article on the blade warmed my heart. And I want to say to my hometown peoples, God love you. I'm feeling the love all the way 2,800 miles away. I'm feeling it. Jen, are we ready to close this? I'm ready if you are. All right. I want to thank you. I am blessed by you and to have you in my home. Thank you so much. Keep on cooking. And remember, just reach out and have fellowship all going to be okay. Have a great day and keep smiling. No one's on the street, but we've got to eat. Gotta eat. Just don't know where to begin. I'll help you out. Got time on our hands, nice pots and pans, plenty of tonic and gin. So while you're at home, just put down that phone, grab it go, or nab your fella, cause it's time. See you guys. Have a great day. We'll see you on class on Friday. I'll put up the recipes. Bye-bye.